Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David. This is the place where I talk about just my experience living in the Star Wars universe as a child of the 70s. Been with the franchise since the beginning. I do book reviews, I do game reviews, and I've talked about Star Wars Celebration. Today, I want to talk about Disney Plus and The Mandalorian. Big, huge news with D23 this last weekend. The Mandalorian trailer has dropped. I purposely did not see it so that I could shoot a reaction video today, uh, but I know a lot of you have already seen it. I know a lot of you have already seen it, so it's not going to be any big surprises for you. So you'll forgive me if I talk over the audio because, uh, like I said, you've seen it. So I, you're not going to rely on this video as your first viewing of The Mandalorian. You don't know what Disney Plus is. It's going to be their own streaming service. It's going to come out November 12th, and I believe it's $7 a month or you can buy an entire year for $70. Why do you want it? Uh, you want it so that you can watch The Mandalorian. <laughs> I mean, first of all, you want it because Star Wars Clone Wars is gonna have their new season on it, and we're all looking forward to that. And even coming up further down the line, uh, we know that uh, Ewan McGregor has signed on for an Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series too. So, I mean, if you're a true Star Wars fan, uh, this is a no-brainer. I mean, if I could give them my money right now, I would. Plus, if you're into Marvel Comics, and I am, uh, there's a whole bunch of MCU stuff coming out, like the Falcon and the Winter Soldier with Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. Uh, and there's going to be a Loki series with Tom Hiddleston uh, in 2021. Elizabeth Olsen is reprising her role as Scarlet Witch in WandaVision. Uh, Paul Bettany is going to be doing that. Uh, also, with a Vision spinoff in 2021, Hawkeye and Jeremy Renner is coming back in 2021. And those were all shows we knew about, but then at D23, uh, they announced She-Hulk, uh, Miss Marvel, and Moon Knight were all coming out. All right, so what do we know about The Mandalorian? Uh, the Mandalorian is about a bounty hunter. He's unnamed. Uh, John Favreau, the director, has said that this is a taking place be in a 30-year period where we don't really know a lot. So the Empire has fallen, but the New Order has not risen. So it's within that time block. The Mandalorian's main role is played by Prado Pascal. You might remember him from uh, Game of Thrones. He was on a Netflix series called Narco. Uh, and so I don't know if we're ever going to get to see his face. I think that's going to be part of the mystery of the whole show uh, is like, who is he? Kind of like how we had that same kind of questions about Boba Fett, like, who is he? So I think they're trying to pick up on some of that. And there's going to be some familiar looking things. I know there's Easter eggs all through it. There shouldn't be any familiar characters. Although I did hear, I did hear R5D4 was going to be in this. So I know uh, John Favreau has said all new characters, but I've heard uh, R5D4 is going to be in this. I don't know how he blew up at the end of A New Hope. So we'll see. All right. So I'm pretty excited to watch The Mandalorian with you. Let's go. All right, just gotta fire this bad boy up and take a look at it, picture in picture. Stormtrooper buckets in the sand, ominous footprints. So yeah, so I like very Roman. Like, I wonder if there's heads. You think there's heads inside of there or just helmets? That starship looks familiar. Looks something from Rebels. Matte painting. Still looks good though. Money exchange. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers. Dude. Uh, Rocky. Uh, Oakland Raiders. Predator. Gearing up. Oh, that was a Blurg. And a Twi'lek. Blurgs are from the Ewok. Death Troopers? What? How do you have Death Troopers? Love that hilt. You guys all know what that hilt is from, right? You know what that gun is from? Star Wars Special. ATST. IG Yeah, it's not IG88, by the way. I I looked it up a while back. It's IG11, apparently. And the voice is the director from Thor Ragnarok. It's Whoa. Did he get did he get chopped in half? More carbonite? More carbonite dudes? Watch your back. No, he doesn't say anything funny or cool. Like, didn't get to hear his own voice. Like, I'll be back. No, that'd be stupid. That'd be really stupid. 
All right. So I started to say those were blurgs, like the the like dobacky thing. That's from they were really really bad horrible animation uh, in the Ewok. Was it Journey to Endor or something like that? It was in that TV series, and then they came back in Clone Wars. I want to say they came back in Clone Wars. I think that's right. Right? They came back in Clone Wars. I think so. They came back in Clone Wars. So the blurg is that creaturey thing. And then that was cool seeing a Twi'lek. Like, I love that they're going to start merging things together. Oh, yeah. And I said, um, that's not IG-88, which I wish it was. I wish it were. I wish it were IG-88. It's IG-11 is what I've heard. I don't know why we're having a smaller number for a robot that exists later in the universe, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, director of Thor Ragnarok, he did a voice in Thor Ragnarok. He was one of the funny rock creatures. And then so he's going to do the voice for IG-11. So we've heard heard so we've heard we don't know if that's true and it's weird seeing death troopers in there that was a kind of a surprise like death troopers were in rogue one rogue one takes place before the classic trilogy now we're going to do a series after the classic trilogy and death troopers are re-emerging like where have the death troopers been this whole time i guess i guess they were somewhere they're on some outer rim planet just hanging out i guess that was the mandalorian trailer did you like it uh, are you looking forward to it? I am. Uh, I can't wait. And so uh, I can't give Disney Plus my money fast enough. Give me more Mandalorian. Give me more Boba Fett. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.